What's going on, guys? I'm Master WR. Uh, this is a video of uh, Search and Show on Hangar 18. Um, I'm using the Gator gun or M14. Uh, I don't know. For some reason, I think it looks like an alligator or crocodile or something like that. I'm not sure how. Uh, maybe it's just the front pattern, but whatever. It's not the gameplay I want to talk about today. It's the uh, it's about Modern Warfare 3 and what I think is going to hurt the game a lot. Um, and uh, I don't know why they're doing this, but they are. Um, basically, for those of you who don't know, stopping power as of now is not in the game as a perk. So that means that there's no offensive perks to increase your weapon damage or anything. So you would want to take defensive perks such as ghost type things and what that means is in perk 1 there's a perk called blind eye now blind eye is undetectable by air support and sentries that's not pro that is just that um, ghost pro is what got you that in black ops cold blooded pro no cold blooded was normal was the same thing Blind Eye Pro uh, launchers lock on quicker and you have extra bullet damage versus air support and sentries. So right there you can take out any air support you want immediately. Basically if you have a, a launcher. Now in the uh, second perk spot there's a perk called Assassin. Now Assassin uh, the normal version is undetectable by UAV, portable radar, thermal, and heartbeat sensors. Assassin Pro, you're immune to counter UAVs and EMPs, and you also get no red crosshair like Full Blooded Pro or Ghost Pro. Now, this is, uh, that's a big deal. Those two perks, um, you can pick both of them, and it's basically, you are invisible. It's almost if you have a silencer on and you will never show up on the radar ever um, overpowered is an understatement um, Bomb is armed. it uh, I don't know why they would do this um, I'm all for being uh, invisible like I love that um, as you know we do ninja diffuses and stuff and I just like being sneaky and being able to embarrass kids and just having fun with them. But in Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2 it's different because everyone's running the same thing and it's... it gets to the point where job, ready for the next round. Y it's not unique I guess like COD 4, COD 5 and Modern Warfare 2 um, you all had stopping power or double tap. Search and destroy. Uh, well, actually, not in Modern Warfare 2. You only had stopping power. Oh, and Juggernaut. Um. We got the bomb. But yeah. Anyways, wow, lost train of thought there. Um. But no one would pick anything other than double tap stopping power or Juggernaut because they're offensive things. They're gonna help you kill faster. I loved using UAV jammer, cold blooded, and whatever it's called in COD 5. Uh. Camouflage. Um, I loved using those just because no one would use it and everyone's like constantly like eyes are permanently focused on the radar um, and then you can easily just make fools of them and stuff and just have fun with it but uh, with these perks um, I don't know I, it's just air support is useless so there's no point in kill streaks um, yeah you're basically going to have to uh, I mean I, I don't even know like there's nothing that can even um, make up for it or counter it or like whatever I don't know what the word is like uh, there's nothing that's basically saying it's okay like um, justifying it I guess um, you have the assault uh, strike package or whatever it is and those are all your kill things like your 
killing kill streaks. Um, lethal ones. There we go. Then you get into the uh, what's the next one? Strike? No. Support? Yeah, support package. You get UAV counter UAV. Um, Sam turret and like all those stuff. Um, EMP and stuff like that. Like the uh, support ones. And those aren't gonna do anything. The ones that help you see the enemy or just disable the enemy, those are not going to be able to do anything. Um, the only things are airstrikes that those are going to help and uh, possibly juggernaut. I'm not sure what that is doing or how that will work, but juggernaut and uh, I guess the recon drone, actually that'll get shot down instantly. But yeah, and the ballistic vest is like juggernaut I guess, so not the juggernaut guy, but it's like juggernaut perk. Um, those are the only things. So I think something that will um, a lot of people will start using is um, well actually this goes either way too. The specialist stri um, strike package. That's the one that gives you all the perks. So if people are using blind eye, assassin, and all that, then they've just limited themselves to the, just those. While they could have overkill and other other stuff, hardline and stuff like that. Well, with specialists, they can get those other perks as well. So they're invisible to get those easy kills with a silencer, especially, and those just help them get other kill streaks. I think this is a major flaw. Um, wow! Just realized that that, that is that is a major flaw. Uh, I'm not sure how this is gonna. Uh, go like assassin and hardline and uh, blast shield that's gonna be that's gonna be some uh, overpoweredness I guess anyways guys uh, that's my thoughts on what's gonna hurt the game a lot uh, we'll see what happens we'll see what happens